Your champions have been off for a couple of weeks, but now they're back, ready to become even better for the upcoming season in 2018. In this episode, we focus on pre-season training and all the hard work that goes on behind the scenes to become a champion. We go behind the scenes of the first day of pre-season training and meet some rather new faces. To be a champion, you need to look like a champion. Jack Walker and Liam Sutcliffe model the new away kit for us. Leeds Rhinos pride themselves of being the best off the pitch as well. We take a look at the behind the scenes of the Leeds Rhinos dance auditions. And we join the fans as we head to Headingley Stadium to watch the World Cup final. And if that's not enough, Jamie Jones Buchanan catches up with a few legends in Australia as he prepares for the new season. Pre-season training has got to be one of the toughest times of the year. We go behind the scenes and catch up with Jason Davidson to find out what he's got lined up for the boys. So Jason, it's our first day of pre-season here down at Kirkstall Training Ground. Tell us a bit about what's been going on today. Yeah, as you say, it's the first day back since we uh, we won the grand final. So they've they had a couple of weeks off where I didn't have any contact with them. Then I send them a, a program that they have to do away from here, making sure that when they come on day one today, that they're ready to start training. What kind of tests have you been doing? Because I'm sure I've seen some DNA tests. Is that right? <laughs> so Can you explain why that's going on? Yeah, it's uh, there's there's three sections of the testing today. The, the testing will happen over the next two weeks. It won't be just one day of testing, it'll be over the next couple of weeks. Uh, so the young guys and the new guys have been in today. Uh, the first test which they like is, is the caliper test to see how where the, where the bodies have changed, where the fats uh, appeared and where the muscle's gone so we know what programs to put them on. The, the other one's the physio test where uh, Andy Barker, our top physio, he, uh, he just makes sure everybody's ready to train and if they can't do things from from last season, then we get sit down with the coaches and we say this is what he can do and this is what he can do. The other ones is pretty new to us and uh, it's uh, it's with Better You they've come on board and and what we've done today is we've done uh, some blood tests and some hair tests to see what uh, what chemicals are in their body, what chemicals they need more of, and what uh, nutrients really, uh, and how low how how high they are on the vitamin D. So how tough is pre-season for the lads? Uh, it gets tougher every year, I think. It gets tougher and uh, it's getting a bit more um, scientific and, and we're hitting them at the right time. So so when I when I used to play a long time ago, it used to be just flogging after flogging after flogging, but this time we were a bit smarter with them. Uh, when they do train, they will train very hard, but it's, it's more about looking after them, recovering them and making sure that they can go for the next day. So we're going to be bigger and better this year? Uh, we, we best be. We best be. We're <laughs> going to be. We're going to be bigger, better, stronger, faster, fitter, and ready to start in February the first for the start of the season. And is there anybody? Because I can see you've got a list here going on of all the players. Is there anybody that you think is going to break into the first team this season? I think we've got a very good squad this year. Looking at the squad, uh, I think it's it's more balanced than than in in years gone by. Uh, we all know about Jack Walker and Jordan Lilly and them sort of people. But I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing Mikolai. He's, he's done yeah. well. He's done well at Bradford. Uh, I think he could have a, a, a big push towards next season. But one I'm, I'm quite keen on is uh, Harry Harry Newman, mm -hmm. who made his debut against Wigan and, and didn't look out of place. And I think it's his first year as, as a full-time athlete. So if he takes it on board, I think we could get some great benefit from him. Hi, I'm here with Brad Dwyer. Um, how's first day of school been? Uh, it's been really good. Um... I've been excited, obviously I finished a couple of weeks before you, Warrington, so I've had quite a bit of time off, so I was really excited and uh, ready to go a couple of weeks ago, really. So I've been excited, then when I got in my car, I was a bit nervous about meeting a new group of lads in a new environment, but... you are all too bad, are Nah, you're alright, you're a good laugh. Um, <laughs> but it's just all young lads at the minute, so everyone's bouncing around, full of energy, and um, it's been good, we've been welcomed good, and uh, you all seem like decent lads. So, you know, for... There are many fans that might be watching this. Um, just give us a bit of a background into you, really. Who is Brad Dwyer? <laughs> uh, well, I'm about five foot five. <laughs> um, you probably struggle understanding me because I've got a very broad Wigan accent, and um, that's it, really. Oh, you mentioned the W word. Oh, <laughs> it's a bit it. tasty on that one. That's it. There's only me, really. There's me and um, Richie from uh, from Lancashire. I think Mo was, but he's been over a while now. Mo. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So it's nice to have Richie really to help me settle in and uh, have a Lancashire mate. Yeah, well, that's it. Um, so going on to the field, how did you find the, um, the first session? Oh, it was good. It was good. Obviously, it was a bit surprised. Obviously, yourselves and young Jack Walker 
got quite a bit about you, like with a bit of um, good athletes and uh, lively on your feet, so keep us keep us tested. But it was just full of energy, yeah. obviously, and you normally know, we'll get that with the young lads. Um, but the most difficult thing is everyone's keen and everyone's trying to impress, and yeah. sometimes that forces a few errors. And sometimes the hardest thing is to keep staying disciplined and, yeah. and just just doing the, the simple things right. And it's about us trying to stay as disciplined as we can and and, and just keep that enthusiasm, just keep it on tap. Obviously, I know I know of you. Um, I know. Well, I'm glad you do. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know I do know of you. You know, I've seen you play, and I, I do admire the way you play. I think you're gonna fit straight into the way we play. Um, but you know, I can only imagine you'd have had so many offers on the table. You know, why why did you want to come to Leeds? Is there a specific reason? Um, um well, it's obviously the, the the difficult year we had last year, and a lot of enjoyment gets sucked out of it. And you probably yeah. know with, with the year you had before that. Yeah, and yeah. Um, obviously it's, it's difficult. I was at a great club in Warrington, and I, 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 I'm happy saying that they looked after me. I was, got developed there into who I was. But I just felt it came to a time where I, I needed to move on to. I'd come to a standstill really, it was about me developing and um, I thought I'd got as far as I could, I needed a new challenge and a, a new environment and I was fortunate enough to get this, this opportunity here and I snatched the hand off really because yeah. um, it's got a winning culture, uh, they get, get looked after and um, it's just about me coming in, fitting in and learning from this environment and um, these players who's, who's been involved in these big games and won quite a few. Yeah man, no that's, that's it. Uh... Great answer. Um, and finally, you know, I'll finish up with, uh, I heard you can rap. I heard you can uh, give a little bit of a, a rap. You know, you want to you wanna nah, share that? Nah, there's no time. You want to share that uh, with a nah, fan? No, no. You can rap if you want to rap. I can't rap, mate. No, I can only drop a beat. Yeah, I can drop a beat. And and you, you, nah, I'll drop a beat, you rap. No chance, mate. Ah, that's it, then. Not on day one. That's it, no. Yeah, um, well. You know, maybe at Christmas party. <laughs> <laughs> Christmas party. <laughs> Save it. I'll get some practice in. I'll wait then, I'll wait. I'm going to wait for that. I'm going to hold you to that. And we'll even get it on camera for everyone yeah, out there. Yeah, yeah. I'll play as long as I've had a few beers. I've <laughs> Beautiful. Thank yeah, you. Sweet. Welcome to Leeds Rhinos. How do you feel about your new deal with the club? Yeah, I'm really excited to be here. And obviously, it's a great club and um, a very ambitious club. And that was the big draw for me. What made you sign for Leeds Rhinos then? What was that that very moment where you thought that's the club I need to be at? Uh, I think from just watching from afar, it's obviously the the way the team plays and the way um, it goes about its business is exactly how my game is it perfect for my game. So selfishly, that was the reason why. Um, and obviously, I was I was looking for a move back to England, and this was the this was the perfect fit for me. And obviously, when I'd I chat with Brian, it was um, yeah, it was my mind was made up really. So it was an easy decision, you'd say. Yeah, definitely very easy. Obviously, as soon as they, as soon as they showed any bit of interest, I was like, "Yep, I'm, I'm very keen to come." And unfortunately, it happened. So you've been out on the field with the guys just now. How did that go? How's the training been today? Well, we're First in, day back. Yeah, we're, we're in with all the the really young lads. So, I mean, I was absolutely, I was blown a little bit. No, no. I mean, it's good. I mean, this it's a great talent. Obviously, it's a great talent pool, and obviously. We were, um, no, I was very excited. I was very excited to get back out there. And what are you most looking forward to about the season commencing? Um, I'm just, I'm, I just love playing, so I'm just excited to get back. And I'm the worst person when I'm not playing. I mean, obviously, when I'm at home and when I've not got the training environment, I hate going to the gym on my own. It's the most boring place in the world, I find. So, you no, team player then? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad to be back someone. in with it all, and I'm glad to be back in and around all the boys again. Have you got any memories playing against the Rhinos? I have, yeah. Got Any some, good ones? Oh, a good one for me personally and a bad one as well. Go <laughs> I mean, on, share it with 2012, uh, I played against them in the Challenge Cup final and won. And then we played them in the grand final and Leeds won. So it's 50-50 for me. Right, OK. I've played many games at Henley and obviously the, the old South Stand, which is obviously not standing anymore. That was obviously a big place, a big, very loud crowd to play in front of. And... I'm glad it's on my side now, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, you're excited for the <laughs> yeah, South I'm glad it's behind me, and not, yeah, it's behind me and not against me, so no, I'm looking forward to it. Are, are there any teammates that you're extra looking forward to working alongside? Yeah, like I said, I said before, with the, with, the, with the talent of like the crop of young lads that are coming through, I think that was one of the big draws for me. I think, obviously, you saw obviously the highlights of obviously Jack Walker, and, and uh, he made a massive scene into the scene, and Ash Golden and Jordan Lilly, like the players that obviously around about my kind of position and things I've been working close with. But no, I think across the board, I think there's a lot of talent in this team, and that was, like I said, a big draw for me, and one I'm, I'm really excited to work with. So, for the fans out there, what should they expect from you as a player, as a person? What should they be expecting? Well, I think anyone ever watched my game play before, obviously I've, I've a very supporting game and I think that fitted the mould of why I want the big draw to come to Leeds. Obviously they play a lot of fast rugby and a lot of offloading game and that's perfect for me. 
Um, yeah, I think, I don't know, it's just <laughs> polishing me on trumpet here. <laughs> and can you sing Marching On Together? I can, Jodie Broughton, a uh, very uh, Leeds Rhinos, obviously <laughs> hero, as he would say, um, t told me many a many story because he's a good <laughs> friend of mine, so no, he was singing it to me the whole time. Are you going to sing us any of it? Marching on to hey! the <laughs> He just kept saying to me, mop, 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 mop. That's all he kept saying to me. So I went, oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Well, thank you so much and good luck with the season. Thank you very much. Thank you.